2023 has been an incredible year for gaming and we've seen a number of amazing games. In no specific order, this is my top 5 game of the year 2023 contenders. Make sure to stick around to the end because we're going to include a bonus contender that might just steal the spotlight. Who wants to hump a bear? First on our list is Boulder's Gate 3. Released on August 3rd for PC and September 6th for PS5, you will return to the Forgotten Realms in a tale of fellowship and betrayal. Resist and turn darkness against itself by choosing to be good or evil. From the shadow cursed forest to the magical caverns of the Undark, to the city of Boulder's Gate, obviously. Choose from 12 classes and 11 races from the D&D Player's Handbook and create your own identity, playing either solo or with a party of up to four. To date, over 21 million copies of Boulder's Gate 3 have been sold according to SteamDB.info. Boulder's Gate 3 has become Metacritic's best-reviewed game of 2023, even surpassing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. According to TechSpot.com, reviewers didn't like infrequent cosmetic bugs, particularly in cutscenes. User interface would have been better with a little more polish and quality of life features. Lack of information on classes, progression, make it difficult to plan a multi-class build. That being said, it's safe to say that Baldur's Gate 3 is an amazing game and has a clear shot at winning Game of the Year 2023. Moving on to number two is Spider-Man 2. Released October 20th, 2023, Peter Parker and Miles Morales have changed since their previous games, which means means how they play has also evolved in the expanded environment of New York, now including Queens and Brooklyn. With new gadgets, new parry system against undodgeable enemies, and a badass ability to glide using web wings, Spider-Man 2 has topped the charts as PlayStation Studios' fastest selling game with 2.5 million copies in 24 hours. Now this was one hell of a cinematic experience, but not all things were beautiful. I beg you, protect me! Also, I kind of wish there was a bonus to the 60 plus costumes that we can customize. With its recent release and high popularity before the Game Awards 2023, along with the crazy sales numbers, Spider-Man 2 has easily earned a spot in my top 5. Number 3. Starfield this is an open-world role-playing game in which players assume the role of a miner tasked with finding artifacts across the galaxy. In Starfield, you have the freedom to complete quests and search for supplies while battling enemies such as robots, humans, and alien monsters. This is Bethesda's first new original setting since the very first Elder Scrolls game, 25 years ago. I'm getting old. In the single player game, you can recruit companions and hire mercs, but man, it really would have been cool to explore the galaxy with friends online. As it stands today, Starfield still remains at the top of Xbox games for Game Pass with 60,000 concurrent players daily. I can only imagine the amount of fun PC players are going to have once modders do to this game the same they did Skyrim. Also, according to PCRoll.com, you'll get the occasional glitches, but overall very few bugs for the size of the game and they felt planets are self-contained systems, not a connected mega open world. I feel based off of its popularity and overall success, especially for Xbox, this has earned a place in our top 5. For the next game we have, we're going to talk about Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy is an immersive open world action RPG set in the world first introduced in the Harry Potter books. For the first time we get to experience Hogwarts in the 1800s. Here we get to immerse ourselves in the wizardy world like roaming Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, the Forbidden Forest, and the surrounding overland area. We are able to learn spells, brew potions, grow plants, and tend to magical beasts in preparation to battle against trolls, dark wizards, goblins, and much more. There's no doubt that this is the best Harry Potter game ever made and available on multiple platforms on top of that. Combat was relatively good, and I gotta say, for diehard Harry Potter fans, this allows you to live out that fantasy, and you can't put a price on that. Well, you can, it did cost me $70. Another thing is we didn't get Quidditch, which maybe an expansion or in a separate game in the future we'll get. Overall, this is a good game with a huge fan base. It's in our top five. Next up, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the sequel of Breath of the Wild, Link has acquired four new abilities to help him fight against foes, complete puzzles, and traverse Hyrule. Whether on horseback riding through open fields or gazing upon Hyrule on the edge of the Sky Islands, this game is truly breathtaking. Tears of the Kingdom is an experience that quite honestly is hard to put in words. It's literally like a giant therapy session that I want to keep showing up to. When Nintendo first revealed the building mechanic, I was hesitant, but within a few hours of gameplay it grew on me. Before release, people said that this was just a Breath of the Wild DLC. Makes sense because it's the sequel to Breath of the Wild, and it's in the same world. However, the Kingdom of Hyrule has been expanded greatly, with the islands above and even an underground system in the depths below. In a day and age where many games are broken upon release and microtransactions are thrown in your face, in my opinion, I feel this game is worth every bit of a $70 price tag. It drives me crazy that weapons can still get destroyed, but I understand that that gives us a reason to fuse them and explore to find new ones. In the end, it's a Zelda game, what more to say. 
As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we are now going to include our bonus contender, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. This is the first mainline 2D Mario game in almost three decades. I don't do drugs, but I feel the developers might need to double check their brownies. One of the best parts of the game is Wonder Flower Effects, which breathes new life and unpredictability into a traditional 2D platformer. Play in real-time online multiplayer, where you'll see near-invisible versions of other players throughout the game's islands and levels, as they also travel the Flower Kingdom. Additionally, Wonder has a fun feature where it will take a screenshot as you play, but won't show it until you beat each level. You're completely at its mercy, as you'll never know when it'll capture that moment. They have a way to take us out of our current element and insert us into a world of Wonder. See what I did there? I had to do it. I had to. Super Mario Bros. Wonder is now the fastest-selling Mario game in Europe and Japan. I feel this game has a very good shot at knocking down one of my contenders for Game of the Year 2023. So how do you feel about the five that were introduced along with Super Mario Bros? Do you agree? Disagree? Who do you think is going to win Game of the Year 2023? Want to hear your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click on the screen. That'll take you to more PS5 gameplays and reviews. I'll see you over there. Peace.